Hi, I'm Andrew Berman with the Mortgage News Network. We're here in Atlanta, Georgia at NEMB East. I got Terry Clements, who's the Executive Director for the National Consumer Reporting Association. Terry, thank you for taking the time out of day to meet with us. Thank you, Andrew. Always a pleasure to talk to you guys. So listen, now, I want to talk to you about uh, the, the latest update to the, uh, the, the credit reporting uh, system. This is the, I believe, the National Consumer Assistance Plan. Yes. Talk to us a, a little bit about, uh, you know, why this is uh, coming into place, when it's going to be coming into play, please. Okay. Well, the change that is the most recent segment, uh, an update that goes into effect uh, July 1st, is uh, just one of many things that has been changing based on the 2015 settlement between uh, 31 state attorney generals led by New York's AG, uh, overseen with the CFPB. Yep. And basically it is a, a multi-year, multi-faceted change to improve the accuracy of the credit reporting system. Uh, the July 1 change will eliminate uh, a lot of uh, public records, so tax liens and civil judgments, it'll eliminate them from being reported due to some missing personal identifiable information that makes it hard to 100% positively attach that file to a specific consumer. So, I mean, I'm, I'm, that could potentially jump credit scores, uh, you know, in an upward direction that might be different and reflect a different risk profile than lenders were used to when that data was in there. Would you say that's accurate? That's accurate, yes. Uh, exactly how much it will change, we don't know. You know, we can quantify and, you know, Experian and TransUnion and Equifax have done research about, you know, how many consumers are out there and, you know, how many uh, uh, of the actual trade lines, you know, the individual lines of a public record will be removed. Right. And it's a pretty significant amount of data. Now, we have to remember, while it's a significant amount of data, about maybe 90% of the uh, public records, about 50% of the tax liens, yes. only about 10% or a little under 10% of the population actually has one of these items that could be coming off their file. The actual impact on the score of that consumer, while that being eliminated, is going to raise it. I wouldn't want to speculate on, and I think it's kind of uh, risky to try to speculate about how many points an individual's file will change. I mean, it's obvious that the elimination of something negative, a major negative item like a public record item, a tax lien, a civil judgment, coming off a consumer's file will give that score some lift. So as originators that, that are on the front lines explaining the, the credit files to the borrowers, yep. what do we tell them? What, what, what actually, what should the dialogue be to, to explain what this is and what that impact may or may not be? Well, they should just, uh, if they're talking to a consumer about it, just let the consumer know that you know, if you have had tax liens and civil judgments in the past on your file, after July, they may not be on the file anymore. I mean, that's the message, and that it, they could have a higher score because of it. Yeah. You know, there's other may, things may not and could and could are, are the important things. It's not a definite. It's not guaranteed. We don't know really what's going to happen and what lenders might do to adjust for that risk. Absolutely, because it's only the ones that cannot positively be identified to a consumer's file. You know, we are in a balancing act right now in the consumer reporting industry. Uh, public record items that have had uh, the identifiers, like date of birth and social security number, that can be used by identity thieves to wreak havoc in the financial system of someone's life, those are being removed and that's what's creating this problem. So it's, it's a give and take balancing act to try to make sure the data is accurate and can be identified with Andrew Berman versus some other Andrew Berman, yet not put enough information in the, the public record areas that are accessible by potentially bad guys that they can use that against Andrew Berman's file to steal your identity. So that's the balancing act. So are you guys putting in any kind of reports or any kind of papers or any kind of uh, you know, statements uh, um, from the association out there? Uh, there's a great website uh, that's produced by the Trade Association for the three bureaus. Okay. That is the National Consumer Assistance Plan website that explains the, the whole process, the changes. And again, this is one segment of a multi-year, multi-faceted improvement to the system. But it's the recent one that's getting a lot of attention right now. Wonderful. Terry, thank you so much for taking the time out of your day to meet with us. My pleasure. Thank you. Now I'm Andrew Berman with the Mortgage News Network. Thank you for watching.
This is Mortgage News Network.